Let us discuss the conversion of Newman projection into Fisher projection. Consider the staggered Newman projection. We have to convert it into Fisher projection, which by default is eclipsed. Therefore, if we rotate the back carbon by 180 degrees and keep the front carbon stationary, the red methyl now eclipses with blue methyl, bromine eclipses with hydrogen and hydroxyl group eclipses with hydrogen. This makes Newman projection eclipsed. This can be converted to double bow tie. Methyl on front carbon goes down and is written on dashes, hydroxyl group appears on right side and H on left side. On the back carbon, the methyl goes down and is written on dashes. H appears on right side and bromine on left side. This double bow tie is exactly reproduced on Fischer projection. Consider the staggered Newman projection. We will now omit the rotation of carbon and directly convert it into double bow tie by using our trick. On the front carbon, the methyl goes down and is written on dashes. CN appears on right and OH on left side. On the back carbon, ethyl goes up but is written on dashes. Bromine is on right but is written on left side. Whereas chlorine is on left but is written on right side. This is because we are directly converting staggered into eclipsed. This double bow tie is directly reproduced as Fischer projection without any changes. Consider this eclipsed Newman projection. Using our trick, this can be directly converted into Fischer projection. The hydroxymethyl group on front carbon goes down and is written on the bottom of Fischer projection. The OH group is on right and H on left side. On the back carbon, OH is on right and H on left side. The aldehyde group goes down and is written on top of Fischer projection. This gives us eclipsed Fischer projection. Notice that, here we started with eclipsed Newman projection, therefore no rotation of carbon or change of direction of substituents is needed here. Let us discuss the conversion of Newman projection into sawhorse projection. Consider the staggered Newman projection. To convert into sawhorse, write the front carbon and its groups without any change in position. Then replace the circle with lime or bond connected to front carbon at one end. At the other end of the bond, the back carbon and its groups are written without any change in position. This gives a sawhorse staggered projection. Similarly, you can convert this eclipsed Newman projection into eclipsed sawhorse projection by replacing the circle with line or bond. Then attach groups to front and back carbon without any change in position. This gives eclipsed sawhorse projection. This eclipsed sawhorse can be changed to staggered by keeping front carbon stationary and rotating back carbon by 180 degrees. So that the aldehyde group now points up, hydroxyl moves to left side and hydrogen to right side. Opposite to the position they occupy in eclipsed sawhorse projection. Let us discuss the conversion of Newman projection into flying wedge projection. Consider this staggered Newman projection. Look at the molecule from the right or left side. Draw the two carbons. If you look from right side, the front carbon is now on your left and back carbon on your right. On the left carbon, the methyl points down and is written in the plane of paper pointing down. The hydroxyl group comes towards you and is written on solid wedge, hydrogen goes away from you and is written on dashes. 
On the right carbon, methyl points up and is written in the plane of paper pointing up. Bromine comes towards you and is written on solid wedge whereas hydrogen goes away from you and is written on dashes. This makes staggered flying wedge projection. Consider this Newman projection which is eclipsed. Look at the molecule from, say right side. Draw the two carbons. On the left carbon, the hydroxymethyl group points down and is written in the plane of paper pointing down. The hydroxy group comes towards you and is therefore written on solid wedge, whereas hydrogen pointing away from you is written on dash. Similarly on the right carbon, the aldehyde group is pointing down. It is written in the plane of paper pointing down. Hydroxyl group comes towards you and is written on solid wedge whereas hydrogen pointing away is written on dashes. This gives flying wedge projection, but eclipsed. This can be converted into staggered by rotating one carbon through 180 degrees angle. The groups attached to left carbon remain unchanged. Whereas after 180 degrees rotation, Aldehyde group now points up, hydroxyl ends up on dashes and hydrogen on solid wedges. This gives staggered flying wedge projection.